Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a black panther, all wild and free. That's what I see. The end. Little panda winking, blinking, spies a snowy day. Little panda stumbling, tumbling, bumbles out to play. Little panda laying, playing, angels in the snow. Little panda slipping, gripping, plodding up so slow. Little panda sliding, gliding, racing like a sled. Little panda bumping, dumping, snow upon his head. Plop. Mama panda rushing, brushing, little panda free. Little panda pawing, clawing, clambers up the tree. Little panda clinging, swinging, dangles upside down. Little panda dropping, flopping, happy panda clown. Panda Bear Cub by Jacqueline Moody Luther On a warm summer day in a bamboo forest, a panda bear cub is born. She is very tiny and pink. Cub grows so fast, soon she is black and white. She is still not able to see. 
Mother and cub live in a den in a hollow tree trunk. Bamboo is all around the tree. When she is six weeks old, cub finally opens her eyes. The first thing she sees is mother. It is cold and damp, but today is a special day for Cub. She walks for the first time. Soon Cub can go with Mother when she collects bamboo to eat. Cub wants to explore her world. One day, Cub sees some birds. She walks towards the chirping noises. The birds fly away. Where is mother? Cub is lost. Cub hears a crackling in the bamboo. It is mother. Cub covers her eyes with her front paws. Cub is sorry she wandered off. Cub is glad to be near her mother. They walk through the snow, finding bamboo to eat. Someday, Cub will make a home of her own, but for now, she is happy to stay with her mother in the bamboo forest that is their home. Panda and Polar Bear by Matthew J. Bake In a place where spring met winter, there lived two kinds of bears. Where it was green and grassy lived the panda bears, and where it was white and wintry lived the polar bears. But in between loomed a tall, steep and slippery cliff. It was too tall for a panda bear to climb up and too tall for a polar bear to climb down. And so the two never met until one curious polar bear became too curious. What was beyond his white wintry world? He walked closer to the edge of the cliff and closer and closer still, perhaps a little too close. Luckily, the polar bear landed in a patch of soft, squidgy mud. It was sticky and brown and yick, stomp, stomp, stomp. Something was coming, the polar bear ran. But the cliff was too tall, too steep, and too slippery to climb up. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The polar bear covered his eyes. He peeked from behind his muddy paws and saw a strange, splotchy bear staring at him. Are you new? asked the strange, splotchy bear. Do you want to play? Um, said the polar bear. The splotchy bear took this as a yes. In no time, they were climbing trees, playing hide-and-seek, and following the leader. Finally, they sat down for a snack. Yik, thought the polar bear, the bamboo is too hard. He had a better idea. Less fish, he said to his new splotchy friend. The polar bear looked into the water and gasped. Could it be? He wasn't plain white anymore. He had turned into a splotchy bear. Splash. And proudly presented his catch. You're fading, the splotchy bear said. Where are your panda patches? Panda patches, the polar bear replied. Aren't you a panda bear, asked the splotchy bear. No, he said quietly, I'm a polar bear. I'm all white, just like snow. He sighed. What terrifically splotchy panda bear would want to be friends with a plain white polar bear? But the panda's face brightened. I've never seen snow, he said. What's it like? So the polar bear explained all about snow. But the more he talked, the more he remembered. And the more he remembered, the more he missed. Suddenly, the polar bear was homesick. I'll help you get home, said the panda bear. But the cliff, the polar bear replied. I'll think of something, said the panda. So he thought and thought and thought until he couldn't think any more. Maybe we could use bamboo, suggested the polar bear. My mother told me never to play with food, 
but I think it's okay this time, said the panda bear. Together they made a very long ladder. A very, very long ladder. When it was finished, the time had come for the polar bear to go. He looked at the panda bear. Would they still be friends after he left? The polar bear wanted to ask, but he wasn't sure how. Instead, he turned and slowly climbed the ladder and climbed and climbed. The higher he went, the harder the wind blew. The ladder began to shake and then it was suddenly still. The polar bear looked down. There was the panda bear holding onto the ladder with all his might. Don't worry, the panda called. I've got you. In fact, they had each other and a lot more to discover. <laughs>